Good evening. It is 5:34 March. I am calling to order a meeting of the Wood Police Commission. Captain Santiago meeting is being recorded. Right. So I'd call our meeting to order. Present in the room, we have Commissioner Bullock, Commissioner McKnight, and with permission, with permission, I believe joining us remotely is Commissioner Moore, since he had here yes. remotely. And I'm uh, here. You are here. Okay. That's I hear the voice. We just confirm. Other at, at this point, we don't have any other members of the public. They are welcome in the close. All right, so we've done call to order. Um, first order of business would appear in the last couple of meetings that had approved different minutes for the prior meetings we've had. Um, let's start with March 15th. Just for um, the record, the meeting was properly posted. Uh, yeah, it was supposed to. Thank you very much. You're welcome. The meeting is no properly posted both publicly and online. All right. Consider approval of meeting minutes from March 15th. Commissioner Bullock, have you had an occasion to take a look at the uh, meeting minutes? I have. And do they uh, comport with your memory of the events? Yes, they do. Commissioner McKnight, have you had a chance to take minutes from March 15th? And do they uh, mirror your memory of the events? Commissioner Moore, have you had a chance to take a look at the meeting minutes from March 15th? Yes, I have. All right. Are they uh, consistent with your memory of the meeting? Yes, they are. All right, then I would entertain a motion to approve the minutes. I second that. All right, we, we have a moving to approve the minutes from March 15th and a second. We could call the roll, Captain Santiago. Commissioner McKnight. Moore. Commissioner Moore. Oh, here. Do you approve the minutes, Barney? Yes. All right. Sir. It's just breaking up. The audio is breaking up a little bit. Okay. Commissioner Bulk? Aye. And President Cole? Aye. All right. Motion passes to approve March 15th. Now we will take a look at meeting minutes from Elf. Uh, taking a look at those meeting minutes, Commissioner Bullock. Mirror your memory of the events. Yes, sir. Commissioner McKnight, do the minutes from May 12th mirror your memory of the events? Commissioner Moore, do the minutes from May 12th mirror your memory of the events? Yes, they do. All right. They do for me as well. I would be seeking again a motion to approve the minutes for May 12th. I move to approve the meeting. On May 12th. I second that motion. Okay. We have a movement. Second to approve the meeting minutes from May 12th. But Captain Santiago, if you don't mind calling the roll again. Commissioner McKnight. Aye. Commissioner Moore. Commissioner Moore, if you can hear us, do you approve the minute? Do you vote to approve the minutes from May 12th? Aye. Aye. Yes. President Cole. Aye. All right. Next, the uh, final meeting minutes we need to do to get caught back up. And we'll... um, looking at the meeting minutes from June 16th. Or would Commissioner, Commissioner Flick, do you mirror your memory? Yes, I do. Commissioner McKnight, do they mirror your memory of the events from June 16th? You. Hmm. Commissioner Moore, do these meeting minutes mirror your memory? Yes, they do. Uh, they mirror yes. mine as well. Uh, Captain Santiago, i calling the roll one more time. Commissioner McKnight? Aye. Commissioner Moore? Aye. Commissioner Bullock? Aye. President Cole? Aye. We now have approval of March 15th, the May 12th, June 16th. Minutes from the Shorewood Police Commission. So those are approved and they can be posted up in the center. Um, next, just as a house cleaning matter, 
We have five members that are police commissioners in the Shore Police Commission. Uh, Commissioner Anderson was unavailable for this evening. She is excused. House Cleaver. The second one is because of a uh, professional, emergency professional obligation. Commissioner Moore is appearing by remotely, virtually at this particular meeting, and that has to be approved by myself under these circumstances for those particular reasons. I do believe he, he might make it here by the end of the meeting. Um, next, according to the police commission bylaws, we have to uh, yearly elect the commission officer to the post of secretary of the police commission, president of the first meeting after the month of June. And to start with, especially since she's not here to defend herself, I would be uh, nominating Commissioner Jennifer Anderson to continue in her role as secretary. Or would you? I would second that. You would second that? Mm -hmm. And and I, I did speak to her. She did say that she would accept the nomination. Okay, right. Um, since we've had now a nomination, the officer, is there any discussion? All right, Captain Santiago, if you don't have to electing for the position of secretary. Commissioner McKnight? Aye. Commissioner Moore? Aye. Commissioner Bullock? Aye. President Cole? Aye. Clearly. All right. Now we have the post of president of the commission, which I currently. Um, is there anyone in the room that would be nominating themselves? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So that we've just kind of made a record on the uh, on that, and uh, given this is a civilian commission, civilian commission for the village of uh, just for purposes of record, I. This participant, etc. In honor, I have received a resounding negative response from points. So, uh, just to put it on the record, we had to at least ask. Um, so, are there any nominations for said position? I nominate the Cole to be the president. Second. Okay. For purpose. I second. Okay. Oh, he's going to third Thank that. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Moore. <laughs> for, purposes, uh, yes. for purposes of our recorded meeting, uh, legal name is actually Richard A. Cole. But uh, thank you, Rick Cole is definitely going by. All right. Um, any discussion on that point? No. All right. I'm not seeing any. Mr. Mo Commissioner Moore, do you have anything you want to say? No. You should just bring donuts to the next meeting. <laughs> nice. All Snacks right. are always good. Okay. All right. Well, closing discussion. Point. Um, and I would call the roll. Kid. Commissioner McKnight. Aye. Commissioner Moore. Aye. Commissioner Bullock. Aye. President Cole. President Cole. I would. Uh, I I would accept the nomination. So I uh Commissioner Anderson is of course not. We have four out of we have four out of five eyes and one. All right, so we now have the officers of the Shorewood Police Commission set for next year. Okay. So for anyone who's taking a look at our agenda online, our next order of business, we need to, uh, we're going to be interviewing, well, I'll read the notice, I'll read the notice into the record. So we're going to be convening into closed session in accordance with section 19.85 1C of the Wisconsin State Staff to consider issues of employment, specifically certification of captain, captain eligibility. We will be interviewing captain candidates for the police department to establish an eligibility list for the captain. And we will discuss captain 
after we have conducted the interview and specifically talked about the candidates, we will move back into um, clarification. Long and short of it is we'll be interviewing the themselves and the candidates. On that, I would request motion move into closed session. I, I make the motion to move into closed session. Is there a second? Second? I second. All right. You can call the roll for the motion. Commissioner McKnight? Aye. Commissioner Moore? Aye. Commissioner Bullock? Aye. President Cole? Aye. Motion carries for anybody watching the video or members of the public appearing. At this point in the uh, in the Sherwood courtroom, there is no member of the public present, nor one to uh, step outside closing for the, for the purpose of the closed session. And any member of the public that was in the in our uh, virtual meeting would be moved into the side room until we.